races for each class uh, over the weekend. Uh, we will be having a full day tomorrow with prize giving around 2.30 in the afternoon. I see they've gone back to four on the grid. This was an MNZ ruling. Um, and, uh, yeah, we've got to stick with the MNZ rules. Uh, it might be room for five across there, but if anything goes wrong, and of course it can, here we go. All ready for a start on pole position. I think we've got Jack Inwood. I recognise that bike. Uh, then we've got... Somebody else has changed there. It was... Uh, I wonder what's they've done for... Uh, positioning here because I would suspect in fact I'm going to have a look here uh, just trying to pick up the numbers on the second bike yeah, unfortunately what's happening is, is uh, Wade the MNZ official there with the red flag is in the way of that number so I'm going to go to the third one it is George Venel so it may be that the grid positions have changed and gone off the uh, first race actually so whatever it is it has changed a little bit but I can tell you for a pretty Sure, there 387 it is 387 Jack Inwood there on pole position 46 there Finn Terry so it's what's on my uh, timing screen here George Venel in third plot uh, Connor Doreen on uh, in 100 on bike 115 in fourth spot then we go to row two there number 20 is uh, Kobe Osborne followed by 52 Josh Wallen Erica Champion on 282 and Dan McKellar on uh, bike number 17, they're off, they're off there, and uh, feet going everywhere, trying to get that uh, line there. In fact, there's those white leathers, uh, or off-white leathers, that the, the Darcy Davies there, number 530. Um, he was back way down the uh, field there. In fact, uh, he was back uh, in about 17th or 18th sp spot, so they must have changed the grid positioning. Normally at Motorcycle New Zealand Championship event or whatever, you qualify and you're on the same grid position for the whole um, event, but they've changed it for this situation, which is, that's all right, that's what the rules are. I just hadn't uh, been aware of that, and I've uh, been up to date now. So uh, already a good break there, and that will be Jack Inwood. He seems to have the... Uh, ability to get off that line although he did struggle to get off the line there to start with and there was swamped by a couple of bikes uh, but uh, seems to be really flying down there there's a good look at the size of that rider on the second bike it is he uh, it is a weight limited class I'd say he's on the upper end of it uh, or she whoever it is but just you can see the profile of the rider not being rude here but the profile of the rider is uh, quite large but also given the fact that they're all such small bikes um, with just uh, something like 70 cc engines it's quite outstanding uh, the uh, how much different this one is tuned so the officials get off there and come off the track the doors uh, open still but uh, it is uh, taylor burke goes through 87 taylor burke yeah 87 taylor burke and uh, jack in with uh, a red 87 on the front of the uh, bike and i just assumed that uh, in pole position that i couldn't see the number three but uh, whatever it is, that is uh, Taylor Burke, according to my timing screen, out in the front with uh, Jack Inwood there on the 387 machine in second place. Uh, a bit more of a battle. These guys are just uh, cut and dried. They're off into the distance is about uh, 80 to 90 metres between first and second place. We go back uh, probably 100 metres and then a tight uh, fight for third and fourth place between 46 Finn Terry and 45 Jordan Moore and a change of position there and I think that is George Venel coming through there and uh, just has the legs on it coming through and getting ahead of Jordan Moore as they go through turn two here at Manfield for the uh, 2017 New Zealand Secondary Schools Mini Moto Grand Prix. Um, quite exciting racing there further back down through the field. Um, still got guys on their first lap coming down there. That doesn't matter, they're still getting the wind in their face and still having a good time. Here we go, the final bike on the track. I can't even see the number, but uh, it is number 87. Um, 387 Jack Inwood comes through. So there's something confusing going there. I did say it was Jack Inwood, and I had recognised those colours earlier on, but never mind. Finn Terry is the big man that I was uh, talking about on the uh, second bike at 46, and Jordan Moore comes through. Great bunch of riders there. It was uh, George Venel who slipped down the uh, field a bit. So Jordan Moore in third spot, Byron Hurran uh, in fourth spot, and Jordan uh, George Venel, which wasn't he was in third place earlier on, has slipped down to fifth. Uh, Xavier Kuehl is uh, listed there twice actually, <laughs> twice as six and six. There's a bit of a computer glitch there. Uh, he's in sixth spot here, yeah, of course. Dan McKellar, Kobe Osborne, Josh Wallen, Reagan Jaggard. 
uh, rammed off the top 10. We go to bike number 282, which is Erica Champion there uh, in the 11th spot, and Reagan McMillan there on 28 there in 12th. And then we've got Jacob Scammell, Ethan Gordon, and bike number 18, Jacob Nixon, in 15th spot. Logan Durand and Gemma McQuillan-McKee 